8th of April. Even if one should seize the hem of my robe and walk step by step behind me, if he is covetous in his desires, fierce in his longings, malevolent of heart, with corrupt mind, careless and unrestrained, noisy and distracted and with senses uncontrolled, he is far from me. And why? He does not see the Dhamma. And not see in the Dhamma, he does not see me. Even if one lives a hundred miles away, if he is not covetous in his desires, not fierce in his longings, with a kind heart and pure mind, mindful, composed, calmed, one-pointed and with senses restrained, then indeed he is near to me and I am near to him. And why? He sees the Dhamma and seeing the Dhamma sees me. Though physically close behind, if one is acquisitive and restless, how far is that turbulent one from one at peace, that burning one from one cooled, that hankering one from one content, but thoroughly understanding Dhamma and freed from longing through insight, the wise one, rid of all desire, is calm as a pool, unstirred by the wind. How close is that peaceful one to one at peace, that cool one to one cooled, that content one to one content?